welcome back on day 11 of the course physics with Salab. Yesterday we have seen the solution of Schrodinger equation for particle in infinite square well and we have obtained the energy eigenvalues and the eigenfunctions with zero potential energy in the well. Today I will show you the effect of potential energy on the eigenvalues and eigenfunction. For this I am using the six different potential energy conditions for a particle inside the well. In the first figure the potential energy is V of x equal to x that is bottom right edge of the well is sliced off. Now I will show you how the energy eigenvalues of the particle will be affected by this change. So this is the program we have written yesterday for getting the solution of the Schrodinger equation for the particle in one dimensional box or infinite square well. I am here just modify the function that we have written in the sign note yesterday according to the potential energy condition and the Schrodinger wave equation. So I just need to subtract the value of potential energy. So for first case V of x is x. So save and execute. So I am obtaining only the energy eigen values for the ground state for all these conditions. So this is the energy eigenvalue I have get for the first case of potential energy. When the potential energy was zero in the well, the energy eigenvalue was 37.59. Now in this case, it is 38.09. Obviously, there will be no change in the eigen function. Now, I use the potential energy condition from this second figure. So, here V of x is 1 minus x. So, instead of x, I put here 1 minus x. Save and execute. First case, second case. So the value is same as in earlier case, and that means which age you sliced off will not change the ground state energy eigen value for the particle. Now next potential energy condition. In figure 3, here you can see the bottom of the well is a raised to v of, s, v of x is equal to 2. So I just use 2 for v of x, save and execute, 10 is first case and 50 is second case. So here you can see there is change of two units in the energy eigen value. Now this fourth figure here P of x is equal to x square. So here I will write x square. Now save and execute. 
the first case is 10 second case is 50 so 37.87 is the energy eigen value now this fifth case where v of x is equal to x square minus 2x plus 1 x square minus 2x plus 1 save and execute first case second case So again 37.87 that means the last potential energy condition and this potential energy condition have the same energy eigen value for the ground state now take this case here the bottom of the well is rounded and the potential energy function is defined as x square minus x x plus 0.25 x square minus x plus 0.25 save and execute first case second case so here is the slight change in energy eigen value as compared to the energy eigen value when the potential energy inside the well was zero so in this way with the small modification in the function written in the synode we can detect the change in energy eigen values with the potential energy condition now the next example of a hydrogen atom as we know hydrogen atom consists of a proton and an electron in the figure you can see the instantaneous position of electron with respect to the position of proton which is at the origin of this coordinate system here the wave function of the system is written as the function of the spherical polar coordinates this is the schrodinger wave equation for the system where v of r is the coulomb potential equal to minus e square upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r and mu is the reduced mass of the system of these two particles it is nearly equal to the mass of electron and del square is the laplacian operator here in spherical polar coordinates we can separate this Schrodinger equation into three wave equations that is radial wave equation polar wave equation and azimuthal wave equation but i am interested only in radial wave equation because energy e appears in only in the radial wave equation therefore it gives me the values for energy of the system so to get the more simplified form of this radial wave equation here we can substitute the r of r is equal to u of r divided by r so which will leads to the modified form of the radial wave equation then it is rewritten in the required format To solve in this high lab, 
the symbol I have used T1 for U and T2 for DU by DR. So which will give me two first order linear differential equations. Here the initial conditions I have used R0 is equal to 0 0.01 because I cannot take R as a 0 because it will leads to infinite potential energy. So I have used it is 0 0.01 then U0 I have taken some arbitrary value 0 0.01 and U0 prime that is du by dr is equal to 1. These are the constants that we are using. Now let's move into the Scilab environment. Here is the program I have already written to get the energy eigenvalues for the hydrogen atom system. The same logic as in case of particle in a potential well is applicable here also. Just I have made the necessary changes. In the function when more variable L that is orbital quantum number I have included because the solution will be depends on L also. Then the function du2 is written as per the Schrodinger equation. The values for the gases of energies and the orbital quantum number are provided through the input function. Then the initial conditions for loop if else statement same as we have used yesterday now the command display to display the energy eigenvalue here I have plotted the mod u square instead of u because I want to plot here the radial probability density instead of radial wave function. Now our program is ready to execute. So I will save and execute. So the first guess of energy is minus 10 and minus 20 orbital quantum number is 0 enter so this is the energy eigenvalue for the ground state of the hydrogen atom and this plot shows the radial probability density of electron as a function of the distance from the nucleus again we will use for another range of energy suppose minus 2 to minus 5 so L is equal to I put first 0 So this is the energy eigenvalue which corresponds to first excited state of hydrogen atom and this is corresponding radial probability density. Now let's see what will happen if we use this orbital quantum number 1 because this is the first excited state so for this there are two values of orbital quantum numbers 0 and 1. So the same value of energy as we have get in case of L is equal to 0 but the radial probability density 
is changed. Now we will try for the next energy level. So it is in between 1 and minus 2. So first L is equal to 0. So this is the energy Ign value corresponding to the third energy level of the hydrogen atom and this is the corresponding plot for radial probability density of electron. Now I will plot for L is equal to 1. So the energy Ign value is same but the radial probability density plot is different than for the case of L is equal to 0. So as this is the third orbit so there are three values for L 0, 1 and 2. So now we will execute this program for the third value. L is equal to 2. The energy Ign value is the same. Only there is change in the plot of radial probability density function. So in this way we can obtain the energy Ign values and a radial probability density of electron using this program. It is very interesting to plot and see these plots of a radial probability density corresponding to different energy states and orbital quantum numbers which we have seen in the books only.